Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today I'm bringing you a, another AP Physics 1 video, and this is Energy Focus. Um, uh, I encourage you to pause the video, give the problem a try yourself, and then come back after you've attempted it. So I have a 3 kilogram object sub subject to a restoring force undergoing simple harmonic motion with small amplitude. The potential energy of the object as a function of distance from its equilibrium position is shown above. This particular object has a total energy of 0.4 joules. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of confused because they say 0.4 joules, but clearly this graph goes above that. What is the object's potential energy when its displacement is 4 centimeters from its equilibrium position? Uh, its potential energy is about uh, half a joule. Just reading it from the graph. What is the farthest object moves along the x-axis in the positive direction? Explain your reasoning. Oh, well, because it has at most 0.4 joules of energy, it, has to, it can only go up to here, right? So 10 centimeters because that's as far as it could go, yeah. Determine the object's kinetic energy when it's displaced negative seven meters. Well, negative seven meters, it has 0.2 joules of energy, of potential energy. So since it has a total of 0.4 energy, the rest of the energy must be kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy has to be 0.2 joules also, because 0.2 joules plus its 0.2 joules potential energy would be a total of 0.4 joules. What is the object's speed at x equals zero? So when all of its energy, 0.4 joules, is equal to uh, kinetic energy, that's what its maximum, because it has no potential energy, so all of its energy is just going into kinetic energy. So that's 0.8 joules divided by m, mass of the object is three kilograms, equals v squared. So v is equal to square root of 0.8 over three, oops, that's 0.516 meters per second. Uh, suppose the object undergoes this motion because it is a bob of a simple pendulum as shown above. If the object breaks loose from the string at the instant the pendulum reaches the lowest point and hits the ground at a point P shown, what is the horizontal distance it travels? Okay, so now they cut it uh, and now this velocity is the velocity is going to continue on. Its distance is velocity times time because in the x direction, it just maintains its x velocity the whole time. But that's the x direction. In the y direction, uh, like that's how I decide how long it's been in the air for. Um, delta y is equal to v naught t plus 1 half at squared. Delta y is its displacement in the vertical. You see, it's 0.5 meters above the ground, so it's 0.5 meters is equal to 1 half gt squared. Because its initial velocity in the vertical direction is 0. So t is equal to 1 meter divided by 9.8 meters per second squared square root. So square root of 1 divided by 9.8, I get um, 0.319 seconds. And then plugging this into back into here for this time, I get 0.516 meters per second time, which is its horizontal velocity how, times how long it was in the air for, which is 0.319 seconds. So... 0.61165 meters. Okay. So hope you found that helpful. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.